My dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Virgos and it's for November onwards 2023. It's all about November and what's happening around November and a little bit further. Um, in regard to your reading, uh, my dear Virgo, it's all about everything you need to know. What are the most important factors for you to know, to be empowered and the power of knowing. Welcome all my dear viewers, each and every one of you, whether you are Virgo or not. Let us begin to see what are the most important factors and messages. That's two of them. I'll just take one. And there it is. That's one. And it says successful career. Successful career. Okay, I'll put my glasses on just to do this a bit deeper. It says here, happy working environment, pay rises and promotions. Pay rises. How can you see this? Pay rises and promotions. And I see transcending your, your leveling up to high levels beyond where you are today. And you are going to be very happy very happy working conditions that is beautiful let's see the next message for all virgos for november and it says expansion in the months of summer something about summer or around summer there's going to be a big expansion in your life major tremendous um, expansion end of a very painful chapter end of a challenge and starting a new beginning with plenty abundance coming your way that is beautiful Okay, let's have a look at four major impacts uh, for all Virgos for November. And starting with the first card, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Coins, which shows a lot of money is coming in. There is going to be success. There's going to be abundance. You'll be in a very powerful position. In fact, you'll be able to help those who are weak in a weaker position or those who are in need. You are you might be considering doing a charity, but I also feel like there's a lot of money coming in from somewhere. We will I will clarify it and see what it's all about exactly. Wow, the King of Pentacles, wealth and riches, my dear Virgo. This is um, a very strong earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It could be yourself. But the King of Pentacles is about abundance and future money. Money for your future, money to do with your setting yourself a beautiful um, retirement plan. This is about stability in your money big time, actually. It's financial freedom and financial wisdom for long term. Wow, the sun, beautiful. The sun is all about everything to do with abundance coming in every area of your life progress with that success um, radiance healing and abundance at the same time and it can also be um, uh, a beautiful connection with someone at the same time a beautiful uh, love connection for those of you feeling trapped restricted not able to live the way you want some truth that's binding you that's not letting you have the free will that you want this is going to come to an end very soon um, there might be situations that are, um, you might be at the mercy of some true circumstances or someone else's rules, but I feel like this is just uh, going to come to an end very soon. I'll clarify it more and find out more for you. What you don't see happening is the Wheel of Fortune. How beautiful. Your guiding angels are saying, just be patient and all is going to work for you. Have a look before the skull falls. Okay, I got it. So the Wheel of Fortune uh, temperance and the ace of pentacles a wheel of fortune shows excessive extraordinary luck coming your way um, destiny controlling situations to take you to the next level this is what you don't see by the way you don't see it coming so i'll just put it over here and then we've got temperance saying a little bit of patience and they're going to bring you happiness stability and everything you want and then a new beginning that's going to be the great prosperity that you've been waiting for and perhaps a new project that's going to give you abundance Okay, so that's that one. Now let's have a look at, not yet, these ones. Three major impacts for all Virgo for November. Here we go. So we have the death card. Shows there is going to be an ending. This ending is going to bring on a new uh, a new beginning, this ending. This is something that will, which is going to be ending, um, not for good, but... Uh, it's if it's a relationship that's ending it's one that won't be reconciled if it's somebody that's passing it could be a chapter of your life that's coming to an end this or it could be this situation coming to an end you know being entrapped and at the mercy of people and situations this could be coming to an end and freeing you we'll find out more let's see what else oh we have the nine of cups your desires and dreams are going to be granted prepare for the grant of your wishes this is the wish card this is beautiful amazing now the next one 
I'm just trying to see why did I do that oh yes sorry no this this belongs here I just put the death card because that was going to free you from this eight of okay so yes the ten of wands it shows an ending an ending to an era an era ends a chapter of your life comes to an end one that was suffocating working hard it's all coming to an end completely this is the one perhaps that you were feeling stuck and you couldn't move a lot of truth and clarity is going to be the reason and one of your wishes and perhaps a soulmate also so it says clarity to the highest level you are going to be empowered by the truth and clarity seeing things so clearly nobody can tell you what to do anymore your wish is going to be granted the oldest wish you've always had and a soulmate someone wonderful that you will be working in partnership with someone that's going to bring you happiness abundance someone that's destined part of your destiny perhaps success is imminent in everything you do whether it's going to be business whether it's going to be whatever it's going to be i feel like your um your guardian angels are going to show you that success career successful career successful relationship it's all happening and the wheel of fortune is going to be part of this deal i'll put it like this so that you can see it well and then you've got the star bringing on all your wishes and you have one more uh which is okay so I'll, I'll, the sun is the one the sun the sun is going to give you a lot of success and a lot of radiance in all your life in every area of your life so your love life is thriving I told you when the sun was there, I told you something wonderful is going to happen. Uh, and I feel like a, a strong connection between two is happening. The Wheel of Fortune, extreme luck and abundance. Have a look at your money reading. There could be one of your wishes that you could be winning big, big time, big money, a lot of money coming your way. Success, soulmate, money, abundance, extreme luck in everything you do. So that is abundance, plenty, <laughs> plenty to look forward to. And this is what you don't see happening and coming. Okay, and all of that, um, the next card, now we're going to go to the next. All of that is going to, it's all talking about success and having your wishes and dreams established. But fulfillment is there without a doubt. Now, two more cards for all Virgos November. And we have your higher self trying to tell you a message, trying to tell you that your vibrations are going to be heightened. You are going to go through some sort of awakening and realizations. That's where the King of Swords comes in. And one more card for all Virgos. And then we've got North Node. This is all about duality. This is about um, finding life's path, knowing where you stand, evolving to the next level, level, a karmic challenge perhaps, and rewards, end of a karmic matter, and a lot of rewards are coming in. Remember we said ending with a death card, so now there's a lot of rewards coming in. Okay, let's have a look at two more cards from another deck. The truth for all Virgos. Okay, so we have the golden book, which shows a lot of contract, a lot of paperwork, maybe contracts or learning as you go. Perhaps some of you could be writing a book, something about writing or career and writing. Some of you could be doing freelancing work, taking classes, education, law matters, you know, dealing with conveyances or lawyers. Maybe you're purchasing a property. Let's see the next matter here. And we've got treasure. It says warrior free money is coming. Warrior free finances. Um, remember we did talk about money coming in uh, comfortably. Where was that? The wheel of fortune being the part of it. Then you've got the seven. Uh, so yeah, the six of uh, pentacles. Money coming in big time. Giving you the ability to move the way you want. Giving you emotional fulfillment and happiness in every way. That's uh, number one, giving you emotional fulfillment and happiness and granting you a wish. Extreme luck, bringing you abundance, a treasure of money, easy money coming in, the sun shining and bringing you abundance also. That's another one. And then finally, um, with the treasure, I feel like... Um, I feel like there is going to be uh, jobs that are to do with... Um, excessive work ex sorry executive work um, that could be hidden talent potential for hidden talent planning a future uh, having money in reserve but it's about treasure also like literally getting money free from somewhere like a windfall or something that's where the wheel of fortune comes in and that's when I say have a look at your money reading that will tell you my dear Virgo what to do about what to play what you know you'll find out more about the sources of money and where they're coming from very important okay so that's that let's have a look two more messages for all virgo for november 
we've got the first one it says body changes you are maybe going through a lot of changes so you might be changing the way you eat maybe changing your physical your body is changing that means your overall look at perhaps your perception is widening and you're thinking of doing more for this coming summer let's see what else you need to know taking care of your health and having the courage to move forward courage is needed for you to overcome anything and you are going to be overcoming it using your courage and your strength your higher self is trying to tell you something is coming up and i feel like you are going to be overcoming a lot of issues not a lot of issues maybe one minor challenge with this to do with ending and freeing yourself self-indulgence um, is important taking care of your health um, taking care of you focusing on self-care on self-worth time to heal and doing some shadow work self-appreciation very important at the same time you are going to rise like the phoenix it says here a new phase of life rekindling a renew transformation a new life like i said the death brings a new beginning renewal of life um, destiny is going to intervene there's going to be growth and you are going to change your mind about something big time you're changing your mind as you are growing and finding out more information what to do or rather uh, your vibrations are becoming stronger you you are awakening let's see what else for all virgos maybe you're seeing things much more clearer you're knowing what to do what the best course of action is and you're changing your mind as you are learning now getting to know each other it says as you um reveal your i have to put the glasses on <laughs> I always think I can do it, but I can't. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens and deepens. So the more you talk to each other, the more you become closer. Express your love. It says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This is the time to do so. Let's see what the message is. Of course, with the soulmate card, I can. I totally agree. Meeting the one and expanding together. Um, an eternal relationship destined for you, my dear Virgo. So let's have a look. Now, don't forget, I'll do this and tell you what not to forget. If you could do anything, what would it be? Ask yourself. The answer is within your heart. It dwells within your heart, not in your mind. So your heart, your soul, as the heart is the gateway to the soul. So deep inside of your heart and your soul, you know what you want and you know how to proceed. So um, it's important that you follow that through and be truthful to yourself. My dear Virgo, don't forget at the end of the reading after i clarify the cards i'm gonna go through these star sign cards and let you know what's going on and who you're destined to be with and so forth and uh, not destined to be with i'm sorry who you are going to be dealing with in november and if you're destined to be with someone say your soulmate is destined to come in your life in november we'll get to know that um, who you'll be consumed with overwhelmed with dealing with in november all this star sign combination and what they're all about so that's coming at the end stay tuned for that now what i'm going to do is i think i've done everything and we can clarify the cards let's have a look at the six of pentacles this money and money and wealth let's see what this is all about it comes at a time where you are going to go through hurtful painful words separation and it's going to happen when it's time for your soulmate to enter the arena of your life you see that soulmate has doubled up so it's the money is coming but it's coming at the time where there is betrayal separation endings at that time the soulmate is coming and you are destined for a lot of emotional fulfillment i feel you are going to be doing uh, spectacular. Um, I also feel that, um, to be quite honest with you, my dear, dear Virgo, you are going to be meeting someone that you can really um, express your love for because this is going to be your soulmate, someone really wonderful. And I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune and your wishes and dreams coming true, something amazing is happening here. You are meeting the one double um, card of double energy of soulmate, Wheel of Fortune and dreams being granted. So something you've always wanted is going to happen, perhaps, uh, because you've also got, don't forget, you've also got the... Um, the star, which is one of your oldest wishes, if you wanted always to meet your soulmate, to grow old with your soulmate, this could be the time. There's going to be a lot of fulfillment in your life, a lot of happiness coming. So a lot of changes that are going to take you to the next level. Why did I put this here? This should be somewhere here. 
Okay, so this was part of it. Something ends, something wonderful begins. Now let's move on to the King of Pentacles. Let's see what the King of Pentacles is all about. For all Virgo. And it looks to me like it's you that's feeling entrapped, unhappy, at the mercy of situations. And the truth of the matter is that you are, um, you've been directed to take action. The truth is helping you to take action. Someone is going to be helping you big time to take action, to be able to move the way you want and to free you from this um, unhappiness where you are very unhappy. I feel like there could be also someone of earth energy that is uh, being protective maybe over you, somebody that's earth and air energy. They're not protective, but they could be, you could be at the mercy of these people. Earth being Taurus. I feel Taurus the strongest, but I'll say Taurus and... Um, Capricorn and I feel like there's air energy there could be Libra here Gemini Aquarius somebody air and earth they're very um I feel like they could be very uh, controlling in a way and you're at the mercy of that this could be coming to an end or you could be torn between two air and earth it could be either way but emotional fulfillment is destined I see water energy coming in your life water energy you will thrive when water energy comes in your life my dear Virgo, water energy being Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, somebody water is coming. At the end, we'll know who it is. Okay, let's move on to the sun and see what the sun is all about. Then I'm going to do um, the higher self, your higher self. Where is it? I think it was this one. No, there was another card. I'll do that in a moment. First, let me do the sun. Let's clarify the sun. Now, the sun shows that you are taking a stand as soon as you do, you're fighting for your rights and putting your foot down because you want to free yourself from something that you don't like. A lot of truth is coming to light. And when this truth and these secrets or situations that are hidden, they come out, you finally get the clarity to know how to move forward. This is the, um, the king of souls that I was talking about, that, that I said, you you know, things are happening that, you, that are coming on a bit later on. To me, it looks like some major truth is coming to the point where you have clarity of where you want to go where you want to be your path where you're heading and you don't want any more hidden agendas you are seeing things clearly with the moon and you are going to embark on an amazing journey you are going to be putting an end to something and moving forward and someone of earth energy is going to be supporting you somebody of earth energy like yourself virgo taurus or capricorn but i feel a new project a new life and the end of something that was um, making you feel trapped let's have a look at the eight of swords this entrapment to see what is it all about this one here and this one here so all virgos yes you feel trapped and i feel like that like i said there is another earth energy with this person the earth energy both you feel trapped not being able to move the way you want some truth is binding you could be money problems or saving money or wanting to reach somewhere but money is standing in your way i feel like uh, you see the king here, the king of, this is the king, the king of pentacles. I feel like uh, uh, another earth energy is with you and I feel like they're supporting you and I feel like you're going to move on to the next level. You might have a lot of choices, but there's only one correct answer. You've got to go back to the past. Something about the past that you've left behind undone, it needs to be dealt with. You need to be realistic and pay attention to what needs to be done and not delude yourself in anything which isn't real. Very important with the Seven of Swords. You have to make the right, correct answer. Destiny is going to help you. Your wish is going to help you to make your dreams come true. All these things are going to help you without a doubt. You are destined for a lot of success in your career and everything in your life. Success is imminent. And I feel like um, your wishes are going to be granted. And I feel like a lot of a lot of happiness is coming your way. Extraordinary. Especially with the treasure. I think the treasure is going to contribute uh, towards... Um, actually, just bear with me. I'll put the treasure up here. I feel like the treasure, this hidden treasure, this free money that's coming, is going to take you to the next level. Your wish is going to be granted. And the Wheel of Fortune is making sure that you are going to be successful. You are going to have a treasure that was hidden from you come to light and you'll find out what this money is have a look at your money reading i feel like big money is coming somehow could be a new project could be somehow because you are going to be empowered big time i feel like your wishes and dreams are going to be granted because not only you've got the wish card you've got the the wish card uh, many of your desired dreams are coming true so a lot of abundance um soulmate with that too and um and there was one more thing Yes, soulmate. That's what I wanted to know. Soulmate coming with the treasure. 
So treasure destiny is going to bring you love. Destiny is going to grant you one wish and it's going to bring all your desires and fulfillment um, granted for you and a lot of happiness and easy money at the same time. So prepare for this beautiful event. It's going to be spectacular. Now, back to where we were. Back to um, the next level, which was... Oh, yeah, we were talking about the... Yeah, we're finished with that. Uh, I wanted to know your higher self. What is it trying to tell you? Because this is really important. Let's see what is hidden from you, what you don't know. The truth. Yes, you are going. Somebody's going to help you, support you to be able to take action and move. Someone of fire energy. I feel like this is very strong Sagittarius, someone that has Sagittarius in them, or it could be someone that could be fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. I feel like it could be starting also. A possibility with the person that was water energy they could have fire in them and that would bring you a lot of warmth and a lot of a lot of uh, regeneration starting fresh rebirth and new life but you are taking action and you're moving forward some of you could be traveling so um that's what your higher self is trying to tell you it is telling you that conflict will be over very soon even in the area that you're defeated it's going to come to an absolute ending now let's go to the next level I think this was done all of it yes all right now my dear viewers so what we're going to do is find out the star sign combination of the person you are going to be overwhelmed consumed with dealing with very much so in november their star sign combination for all virgos who is going to be that person and what are they like five cards i'm going to take so we got the first one and we've got uranus which is the ruler of aquarius air energy Virgo. So we've got Aquarius, someone that has Aquarius in there. We need four more. And the ones that double and triple are the ones that Scorpio. The ones that uh, double and triple are the main one, like the main one that you're going to be consumed with. And we've got Gemini, another air energy. So we got water. We got the water here. Remember I said water energy? Remember we talked about these two, where are they? This one here, no, here this one. Remember when this came out, I said water energy, so we've got Scorpio here. Scorpio, Pluto is the ruler of Scorpio. Scorpio, water energy, number as, as number one there. And then we've got Uranus air, air energy, which is of course the king and the queen of swords. But, okay, for those of you who don't know, the king and the queen of swords this one this is the queen and the king came a bit later on here it is the king so these are the air energies which are the truth uh, and we've got gemini and aquarius uranus being the rule of aquarius okay and then we've got scorpio we have scorpio already so i need two more so we can establish the star sign combination of the person the main one that you'll be consumed with one of them opened up. These I won't take. So we've got Capricorn. That's the Earth energy. And we need just one more. Ooh, this is the one that's pushing to come out. And what is it? Venus, Libra. Mm. Okay, so we've got a lot of air energy. Now, my dear Virgo, you don't do well with air, but Venus is the rule of Libra, Gemini and Uranus Aquarius. So three air energies. That shows that a lot of Virgos are with air energy. Um, you need Earth to be grounded and you've got Capricorn here and you need also water to replenish and fire also. But you've got water, Pluto, the ruler of Scorpio. It shows to me that you could be in a relationship that might come to an end. I feel like there is some air energy here that's not doing well maybe. Some of you are feeling entrapped or unhappy or not being realistic. Uh, it depends which air energy you're with. I feel like if this person has got air energy, because air is leading here, the leading power, it seems, air energy, which is Vien sorry, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. If this person has got Earth in them, any kind of Capricorn, then you will do well because Earth goes well with you, with you and it makes this person become a bit more grounded, more comfortable, more... Um, you can depend on them. They're more reliable. But if this person's air with no earth, it'll make it very hard for this person to be uh, stable or into stability. Uh, you'll always find yourself challenging stability and concerned about stability with them. So it depends. 
who you know what level what age group you are where you're heading if you're um, in the um, younger years you might be um, in a relationship with air energy and there may be conflict and every now and then you may feel defeated and feel that um, you know you, you, you're not doing well but I, if you are with someone that's got earth energy in them whether it's Capricorn or other one Virgo like yourself or Taurus I feel you'll do well because you will blend well you can talk more you can the more you talk the more you see the quality within that person and the action uh, that you guys take will be always uh, united you'll be always united in your thoughts and your and your and uh, your connection you'll be so much alike you'll be finding bits and pieces of each other in each other um sometimes you wonder you know and you think you know what is the answer what is the answer where do i stand i feel like the water energy here scorpio is going to be someone that might be coming into your life it could be scorpio cancer pisces either one but scorpio is shown here so water energy is coming and i feel with this water energy it's someone that will replenish you someone that will heal you if this water energy has got earth in them whether it's capricorn or taurus or virgo like yourself i feel like it's going to be a better match than having air uh, you will be with someone very much like yourself very much uh, long like a lot of long term qualities um, in this relationship it's going to be successful it's going to be long term you can build together you can be i feel like with the soulmates coming in your life i because the soulmate is shown here i feel like you might be leaving air energy behind and moving towards earth and water earth being uh, water being scorpio cancer pisces earth being virgo taurus capricorn and i feel like um somehow somewhat maybe this person might have a drop of libra in them possibly and that would make it okay even because the air energy um that the most the most uh, the only one that <laughs> enjoys long term and likes stability and long term is actually libra gemini and uh, aquarius um they like their freedom they like to be um they don't like to be tied down to any rules regulations or restrictions or you know so it depends if it's on their own that's why i'm saying there is something ending and i feel like there could be an air energy ending from your life and you're moving towards earth and water and i feel like this is going to be more the stability that i see the union that's going to be everlasting healing where you find healing within each other and you become stronger and move forward so i feel like there's going to be scorpion this person there's going to be earth energy capricorn uh, and it could be either one but i feel like this person is going to be one of your wishes that you've wanted the longest time to have someone that you can grow together that you can build together that you can move forward together that you can plan together and i feel earth energy is very strong uh, like yourself remember and they this earth energy that i see here is someone wonderful very much it doesn't doesn't don't look at the gender whether what gender it is the page of pentacles someone that is trustworthy reliable someone you can grow with someone that is really you unite magically together so very helpful very caring very loving and the same is uh, with the queen of pentacles so i feel and you have two you had two uh, kings of um king of pentacles also uh, which shows stability in a in a relationship stability in your life stability in your money major changes moving from air to earth and water it's going to be spectacular the water energy is very very comforting for you, you feel a sense uh, a sense of comfort a sense of uh, replenishing a sense of happiness when they're around you and the earth of course blends perfectly with yours but to have that extra um extra thing is the water the water gives you a lot to to grow to move excitement ideas you know you know somebody that's filled with life and excitement and you love that you you've got that in you and you and you want someone like yourself and more and that's what you're getting my dear virgo so prepare yourself i do see still uh air energy there so we don't know whether you're leaving it but i do feel a hundred percent that uh water is coming in earth is coming in and i've got to say this even though we didn't get all the cards we are getting also fire energy and fire is going to be the one that's going to not replenish you water replenishes you fire gives you a regeneration a new boost on life a new lease on life growth happiness and a lot of warmth extraordinary sensual life intimate life fire energy sagittarius being number one aries leo second third so there you go sagittarius being first uh because uh, because of my feelings when it comes to this card okay and that 
is the end of your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what thumbs up. First, what you think. Second, in your comment section, let me in the comment section what you think. What was your opinion? What's coming? What's going? Clarify things for me. I love hearing from you. Love your comments. Love sharing everything with you. Do give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And doesn't cost anything it's absolutely free and please don't be fooled by any scammers uh, saying that send money i'll do a reading i'll do this through any means i want you to know i do not do private readings at any cost ever so please please uh, be aware of that never ever be fooled by any scammers who say send us money we're going to do a reading there's no readings i never do readings everything to do with my channel is absolutely free everything to do with me is absolutely free if you do want to support me or you want to tip me in any way the only way to do that is watch the videos till the end or let them run till the end and click on one or two ads just click on and when the ad starts uh, i do get tips from the channel so you can do that and it doesn't cost you anything by the way everything free so if you'd like to do that i would really welcome and appreciate your support Please don't forget to watch your money reading, very important, and your coffee cup for November. Very important as these incredible changes that are taking place. I wish you abundance of blessings. Namaste.